A couple of weeks ago, we did a blog post, our sister company, AO Creative Films, talking about how we color graded a 30 second commercial with Visco Film. Today, I'm going to touch on how we did that with a uh, about a six and a half minute wedding film. The first thing you want to make sure in Final Cut is that everything is is exactly the way you want it in terms of your edit. So it's everything's locked down. You've gone through and visually the edit is exactly how you want it because you're not going to want to have to go back and, and redo this process if, if that is not the case. So the first thing we do is lay down a um, um, an adjustment layer here. And all that is is it's just, just a visual cue for us to be able to kind of see um, what is what is below is all the visual uh, the clips that are existing above it are all the titles um, not many titles here in this case but <clears throat> that way when we bring back the uh, the visco film uh, prores clip we can lay it on top of here and we can see a distinct difference between the two so all I'm going to do at this point is to select the uh, adjustment layer everything above it and just hit uh, V to, to make it uh, invisible so and then I'm going to um, obviously make sure that everything that that all my color balance is completed so I'm try I, I went through and made sure everything is as closely balanced um, in terms of color as possible so that I don't have to do a bunch of adjustments once I'm in um, in aperture so once that's done you're gonna go up to file up oh, excuse me you're gonna go over here you can go to file share um, or you can come over here to the little share icon share and you're going to select image sequence JPEG image sequence you're going to <clears throat> name it whatever you want in this case uh, Jeff and Ashley image sequence JPEG image hit next um, I've already done this process but what we did is we saved it into a folder um, in our project media, <clears throat> our project file called um, image sequence pre visco film. So uh, it will create this folder right here, the same name as this, and it will basically put all of those frames into uh, into an image sequence in that folder. So you go ahead and hit save, and it will start exporting your image sequence. Okay, so you've got your image sequence exported out of Final Cut 10. You'll come into Aperture and go ahead and start the import process. Uh, you load up the image sequence pre Visco film we've got here, uh, and you'll notice that you've got a bunch of white frames. Now, those white frames are just the beginning part of the uh, sequence that had had uh, no video. So they're just black. Um, I usually import them only because that way I know exactly where the video starts at the um, when I when I re-import it back into Final Cut. So I'm gonna go ahead and and name this project, and I've already actually imported this, but just to give you an idea of how to do this, if you don't know, go ahead and name your project. I left the images, I stored them in my current location, which is on my hard drive and went ahead and hit import and okay so once imported you can come over to your project and see all your images uh, in a sequence here and um, you're really just going to start kind of going through and what we, we try to do is just to find um, a handful of clips that uh, you feel like represent the the piece as a whole and 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 try to find a, a visco color grade that, that works um, and you might have to make some tweaks on it here and there but each of these obviously is is gonna gonna look different depending on what you do so <clears throat> the first thing is we'll come in here and we will we'll look for you know kind of whatever film film look we're looking to go for um, running through here see which one looks good and what you do is just kind of find one that um, find one that works for this and then and then you're really gonna just start what we do is just start kind of playing with um, you know we lift it so we lift that adjustment off of this image and then go try it on um, 
some other ones. What we do is we will, I'll keyword this, or actually not keyword, I'll just rate this um, number, uh, like a rating of three. And I'll tell you why in a second, but um, kind of jump around um, to, to different parts of the day to try um, that look on, on other parts of, of the film. I'm going to come down here to the uh, uh, stamp uh, adjustments, and I'll stamp that to this one to see what it is, and then I will tag that. Uh, rate that number uh, with a with a rating of three, and what I'm doing there is basically just from my own organizational standpoint, I like to create that, and then I create a smart folder, um, a smart album that will basically show me the three stars, um, and all that's doing is just uh, so click here, select three stars, and I want to see all the images that I've actually. Um, added looks to. Uh, I'm sure there's another way of doing it. You could probably yeah, do a smart folder of things that have, have adjustments on it. But because um, really what I'm doing is kind of creating these little looks and going to fine tune them to the point where I, I, I feel dialed in on, on what I want to uh, achieve with, with the grade. And once you, once you kind of feel good about where you're at, you know, maybe you want to add some, um, a little bit of film grain or something uh, to that. And we'll just kind of do that Typically, very subtly, um, that's going to be quite a bit, and then we'll tone that back, um, you know, to really, really just give it a nice light grain look, nothing too much. Once you find the look that you are comfortable with, you're going to go ahead and apply it to the rest of the clips in that image sequence. If you need to make any minor adjustments, you, you can do that, but... The more work you do in Final Cut to get your clips balanced in terms of color, the less you're going to have to do in Aperture. So once you find that look that you're going for, you're ready to go ahead and move on to the next step. Once you've gotten to the point where you feel pretty good about your, your look, you can lift that look off. And I think that uh, we've got that one already on there. And then essentially go back to... Uh, your entire project and select all and then you're going to just hit make sure that this says replace and I'm going to turn off the three rating because I don't want them all to be rated three um, and replace and did, and then hit stamp selected images it's going to verify and go through the process of stamping that look to all of these images uh, which is going to take a little while once the uh, lift and stamp has been applied to all of the images and you can tell that it's been done done because they've got these little uh, icon that shows that there's been an adjustment made so you know that the adjustment has been made to all your images you can go ahead and go up to uh, file export go ahead and export the versions it's going to take a second to verify and then you're going to get a dialog box uh, where you want to save this and we're going to go ahead and go into Jeff and Ashley and we're going to put it in the image sequence post visco film folder jpeg image size we're going to rename this custom name uh, jeff i can always do the bride first come on now ashley jeff visco graded and then you're just going to hit export versions and that will take a while to export all of those So once all your images have been exported from Aperture and you can see that they are located in the, um, the post Visco film uh, folder that we put them in, you can see that the, the graded images are all in there in, in uh, order. The next step is to take those in uh, and open them as an uh, image sequence in um, Compressor. So open Compressor, and at the top you'll see a uh, button here for add image sequence. You're basically going to select that and go to select the uh, post visco film uh, folder. It's going to go ahead and open up all of those images as a uh, image sequence that you're gonna, going to then uh, compress into ProRes. So you can see all the, the whole film in, in order all graded out with Visco is, is right there. So 
I'm going to drag, go down here to um, my presets, and I'm going to select, uh, go to Apple, and go down to ProRes, ProRes 422HQ. I'm going to drag that to that section, and then I'm going to probably just save that to um, the, the folder. Uh, I might, might just create a new folder called uh, Post Visco. ProRes. Let's create that. I'm gonna hit open and might rename this too just so that it's um it's a little simpler to understand. So Ashley Jeff host this go. So I know that it's been graded and I go ahead and hit submit and it'll take a little while to, to do that. Once compressor is done doing its thing and has compressed all the images into a uh, ProRes file, you can see it here. Um, double check to make sure that everything's good. It's obviously a rather large file at 8.69 gigs, but you can see that the grade has been applied to your ProRes file. And if you open up Final Cut, we're going to import that file into uh, Final Cut. So we're going to go File Import. on now there we go I'll import import media <clears throat> I'm going to go to that file which is in the uh, I created a, a folder called post visco prores in this case I'm good with this I'm gonna hit, hit import I'm not going to copy the file to the event folder which we usually do but in this case I'm not because it's 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 in my project file and I know where it's at um, and I'm just gonna hit import so imports the file I'd be here at the, the the end of it, and then basically what we've done here is I've created a um, I've duplicated this the the project that we um, that we had exported to as an image sequence and uh, named it something different. So I've duplicated it and named it, you know, Final Film Visco, so that I know this is the one that I'm working on that has the um, the Visco grade. Um, that, that it's going to be applied to it. So um, again, we've got our adjustment layer here, which is nothing more in this case than um, just a placeholder or, or a visual guide to um, just to separate the kind of what the original clips to the Visco clip that I'm going to lay on top of here. I've selected all my um, my titles and I've I've hit hit uh, V to to unhide them to make them visible again. And all I'm going to do now is, is zoom in a little bit um, by hitting Command Plus so that I can see the start of my clip. Um, and this is where you just kind of have to play with it. But what we do is you take that whole clip and you're going to drag it down. And we try to drag it right above the adjustment clip here, adjustment layer. And I believe it should just go right to the front of the whole piece there. And then to double check to make sure that the visco clip is lined up we'll go up to the inspector turn the opacity down on that clip and we'll be able to see through and line it up with our existing clips if if for example this was nudged over here a little bit you would you could tell right there that that the, they're not lined up you've got some differences in what um, this clip is and what this clip is so that's why we just turn that to you know 50% or whatever uh, opacity so you can see that but again if you you should be able to just line it right up at the start of the clip and you shouldn't have any issues now you can see it's playing fine and we're not having any issues with with the the look of it and then it's really just a matter of playing with how how much you want the visco film look um, as part of your as part of your grade you could have it hundred percent and go with it that way typically we'll tone it down just a little bit maybe um, you know 75 80 percent and again, it's just a matter of kind of going through and seeing what everything looks like based on, on how that grade uh, overlays. Um, one thing, if you come across a clip, let's say, um, and you're like, man, I really need to make an adjustment to this, this section. Um, what you can do is come in here and hit your blade tool, hit B, and basically just, just blade cut this out so you know that this is the same section as this. You want to maybe grade, grade this section right here. 
you just select that, blade, cut it, and then you've got the ability to go in and make any changes to color balance or mid-tones, highlights, saturation, whatever you need to do to that clip. Uh, hopefully you won't have to do that because you've done that prior to leaving Final Cut initially, but uh, in case you do need to make that change, there you go. So that's basically it. Uh, Visual Supply Company Visco Film is a great way to be able to color grade your uh, video projects. It does take a couple of extra steps, but hopefully this gave you a pretty good idea of, of how you do that. You can download and learn more about Visco from vsco.co as well as more about us at moeticfilms.com and aocreative.com. Thanks.